Jumbo Josh was not always evil. This is his sad origin story. Once upon a time, in a small town surrounded by lush green forests, there lived a brilliant doctor named Dr. Alexander Franklin. He specialized in genetics and was known for his groundbreaking work in creating artificial organisms. However, his only son, Josh, led a lonely life without any friends. He was always made fun of. His gentle nature and introverted personality made it difficult for him to connect with others. Dr. Franklin felt sad for his son and wanted to make him happy. So he used his knowledge to create a special friend for Josh. Working tirelessly in his laboratory, he tried many different methods. Nothing seemed to work. Until finally, something happened. He crafted a remarkable creature using a combination of genetic engineering and advanced technology. Dr. Franklin created a cute, tiny, green monster. He waited until Josh's birthday and he gifted the green creature to him, hoping to bring happiness back to his son's life. To Josh, I hope to see you happy. I love you. Josh was very happy. Wow. He finally found a friend. <sighs> Josh quickly named his new small friend. He named him Jumbo Josh. From the moment Josh laid eyes on Jumbo Josh, a bond formed between them. They quickly became best friends, and Josh found solace and happiness in his new friend. Jumbo Josh was funny, playful, and wanted to share everything with Josh. They were inseparable. Jumbo Josh became Josh's confidant, his playmate, and his truest companion. Josh's father was so happy for his son, but he only gave them one rule. They should never go out of the house for Jumbo Josh's safety. They both enjoyed the same things. Their favorite food was spaghetti. They loved playing video games together. Blowing bubbles. Reading books before sleep. And acting plays at home. Jumbo Josh loved Josh just as much. But one sunny afternoon, they were tempted by the nice weather outside. They decided to break the one rule they were given and play in the backyard. Suddenly, their happiness was interrupted by the prying eyes of a neighbor. The neighbor was scared by the sight of the strange green creature. She was terrified, quickly alerting the authorities. Rumors spread like wildfire throughout the town. 
portraying Jumbo Josh as a dangerous and menacing creature. A scary green creature has been spotted and it's trying to attack anyone. Word reached the police. And soon enough, Homeland Security arrived. Determined to capture the supposed threat, they stormed to Dr. Franklin's house. Keep an eye on sectors five and six. Using helicopters and SWAT teams, wanting to capture the scary green creature. Five or six standing by. They crashed the windows and the door. But they didn't find anyone. Dr. Franklin had seen them and decided to help his son and Jumbo Josh escape. Knowing the woods nearby, they grabbed Jumbo Josh and led him into the forest, wanting to hide. Engaging enemy! As the authorities chased them, they raced through the trees their hearts pounding with fear. They tried to convince the authorities that he was harmless. However, the authorities were relentless in their pursuit. Hold your fire until I get the signal. They closed in on them. Unit 5, set up a perimeter with Unit 6. Unit 7, do a sweep of Sector 2 and report. Firing tranquilizer bombs in an attempt to capture Jumbo Josh. Open fire. Uh, copy that. One of the bombs struck Dr. Franklin and Josh. A cloud of smoke surrounded the doctor and Josh. They fell to their knees, <coughs> coughing. The powerful sedative was too powerful for their bodies. <coughs> Jumbo Josh, witnessing the doctor and his best friend, Josh, lying motionless on the forest floor. He let out a heartbreaking roar. transformation began to occur. It was frightening. Jumbo Josh swore to take revenge. <laughs>